Hey there, y'all. Disney D Prince here today with another Mermaid High doll unboxing. Today we have the Spring Break Rania. And she is very cute. She does have that nerdy aesthetic and she's got some Tetris hair pieces. She is our gamer girl. She has got a little plaid mini skirt on her mermaid tail with some plaid detailings down at the bottom. She's got a great little artwork and she is super cute. She is by Spin Master, but so not MGA and not Mattel. So not very often I review Spin Master dolls, but there is the UPC for anybody looking for her. I did pick her up at my Walmart for, I want to say $10, but it's been a couple of days since I picked her up. Um, she was on sale. She was the last one that was at my store. And I was like, you know, okay, let's see what she's got. Because I like the spring break looks. Because they're very cute because they have like swimsuits underneath. And um, then their tails just kind of go over. So... She's very cute. She is articulated, not entirely, but she has elbows, knees, and uh, and head articulation, which is good. Uh, but they are very cute. So what we're gonna do? Let's try to pop this out. Forgotten how I open this, but I will get it figured. Again, I'm not doing this pretty. Ugh, there we go. All right. Drop that last little bit off. So there she is outside of the box. She looks very cute. She's got a lot of hair. That is the nice thing about these dolls is they have a lot of hair. So, we're going to finish her unboxing. I'm going to tilt you guys down to view with me. So, what we're going to do first is take off this obvious staple. Because I see it. I'm going to take off this one that's in the middle. And then we're going to take off the one that's connecting it. So we've got her tail free, which is good because her tail is kind of in the way. And we're going to just kind of release her hair. And then we're going to go in and try to get at her shoes. So she's got some very cute shoes with these little uh, like emoji hearts in there looking very cute. Let's do the rest of her. She does have these little tendrils and you know my only issue with the tendrils that they do in dolls is that they always for some reason gel them which doesn't make sense to me when they don't gel the rest of the doll hair just because it doesn't seem necessary because it's like if you didn't feel the need to gel the rest of the doll why did you gel her hair we've got a little bit holding on to this so here are her glasses. Again, those look like console controllers. Very cute. And she's got just a little bit of staples holding in her head. Okay. So, okay. I thought I saw a comb. I guess I was just seeing the back of this, but that's okay. I don't need doll combs. So here she is. 
She's got earrings. Very cute. Those are super cute hair clips, um, which are gonna be awesome for some of my like nerdier uh, Rainbow, Hall, Rainbow High girls. She's got this blue hair underneath. I kind of wish it was like pink to go with her aesthetic, but the blue is super cute too. And then if we take her tail off like that, she has got this super cute little swimsuit underneath that is attached to her top, which is fun. And it's only attached by these two little things, so you do have to take the, uh, the top off with the skirt. But I do love her cute little uh, mermaid tail. It's nothing super crazy. These fins are all fabric. And occasionally they are made of like swimsuit material. These are not made of swimsuit material. This is just a nylon. And then a, uh, a stretch lycra most likely. Um, so, but very cute. But again, we've got arm articulation right there. And we've got some knees. Again, neither are perfect, but they're very cute. And the tail and the swimsuits do fit onto Rainbow High and some Barbies. So that's kind of the reason I get them. But she's got some really cute accessories that just pop out, which is nice and easy for uh, other doll brands, which normally put like... Uh, like hooks on the end, which I don't love. But let me show you all her shoes, which do just kind of like slide on, which is fun. And she can actually stand up on her own. I mean, I wouldn't leave her up on her own forever, but you know, she's balancing without any help from me. So that's good. And then we have our doll head, our doll glasses, which go on nice and easy over her ears, as glasses do. I talked her up too much, now she didn't want to stand. Uh, but very cute. Like, she is super cute in that outfit. And let me show you guys how it fits on a Rainbow High body. Because honestly, those are the ones that need some more clothes most of the time. Because we got Pacific High, or we got Pacific Coast High, uh, and we didn't get really any other swimsuits. So here is a nice little Cheryl body that I have because I have just um, started consolidating my collection down because I had a lot of dolls that were uh, duplicates and ready for uh, the one of a kind treatment. So I had to take eyes out and heads off. Um, but. These are very cute little swimsuits, as you can see. We're going to show you guys. This one feels a little tight compared to some of the others. There's not a lot of stretch right there, so this might not actually fit. But let's give it a look. Because if it does fit, it's gonna be super cute. And if it doesn't, well, we need to know. Okay, so that doesn't look like it's gonna fit, unfortunately. We can make it. Hmm. Nope, not enough stretch in this one. So this one will just have to be a perby body, which let me show y'all on a regular Barbie. Again, the proportions are pretty much the same. For Spin Master, not exactly, but pretty close. Um, as you can see, a much easier slide up. But even on Barbie, these may not fit. 
that's kind of surprising. All the rest of the spring break ones had a lot more elasticity to their uh, to their swimsuits, which is kind of disappointing, but that's okay, because we can still take our mermaid tail and put it on a Barbie, as you can see. And it looks very cute. She can flutter away onto her gamer mermaid dreams. Uh, so a little disappointing that that tail doesn't have, that that swimsuit doesn't have the elasticity that I was hoping it would. I think the culprit is going to be the fact that these suspenders are on there. Um, because they would have had to have sewn these like that. And I guess the decision was made to not make this an elastic band because of having to sew through it. But that is disappointing because I kind of was intending to use this as a swimsuit for my other dolls. So I think really the only uh, doll bodies these are of equitable size to is gonna be the Hasbro dolls as far as the actual like same proportions, like the Hasbro Disney Princess dolls, but they're very cute. It might fit on a petite Barbie, uh, or definitely on a, like a, uh, like a Stacy doll. So, I mean, I'll get some use out of it, but for now, I guess I'll just have her accessories be kind of the star, which is always fun. I do like to take, uh, these bigger glasses and see how they look on Ken. Again, they're way too big on Ken, so that's a little disappointing. Uh, sometimes the bigger doll glasses, like LOLs, uh, will fit well on them. Because unfortunately, these are a little small for Rainbow High dolls. So that might be kind of a useless one. And then let's see, do these work for Rainbow High shoes? So they work for Rainbow High shoes. They're not going to be perfectly level, but like the feet fit in them and don't like extend over or like push out, which is good. So I can use these for Rainbow High. That's not a bad thing, which means I can also use them for Ken, uh, articulated Kens at least, but still cool. Um, lots of things to use again, pretty well rooted as you can see, takes you a hot minute to like get down to the scalp. Uh, even up here on the top, it takes a minute to really look through it to try and find it but she's cute. The screening on her is pretty well done. They don't really see a lot of pixelation. There's a little lining, but as to be expected when it's printed like this. But yeah, she's really cute. Uh, a little disappointed that the rest of her stuff doesn't hold up as well. Uh, the tail is going to be cute for like Rainbow High Mermaids or whatever. But other than that, yeah. Not much to the Spring Break dolls, unfortunately. Um, they don't have any like surprise features or anything like that. It's really just like, here's the mermaid with her shoes and, uh, and all the other things compared to the uh, series one or the original series, which they had like a laptop, they had a purse, they had second outfit. This is just like here. Uh, so these are a little bit on the cheaper side, in my opinion, but they're still really cute. So if y'all have any questions on these, uh, specifically on her, leave them in the comments. If you enjoyed it, leave me a like, and as always, follow along for some more fun unboxings, y'all. Be good. Bye.